Hello, I'm Councillor Catherine Neal and I'm the Lead Councillor for Finance and Business Change at Bracknell Forest Council. The funding arrangements for local government are notoriously complex. In this short video I'll explain the Council's responsibilities for local tax collection and the national system that we operate within. The council is responsible for collecting council tax and business rates by all households and occupiers of business premises in the borough. The amount of council tax payable by households is determined by a combination of the tax level set by the council, which for Bracknell Forest is in the bottom 10% of all similar authorities, and the council tax banding of the property. The council tax banding is set by the National Valuation Office Agency, not by local councils. We have no involvement in the valuation process. When it comes to business premises, the amount payable is determined entirely by the Valuation Office Agency. The council has no say in this. Our role is simply to collect the amount of rates the agency says the businesses are due to pay. There are national business rate revaluations undertaken by the Valuation Office Agency, typically every five years. They reassess the rateable value of all business properties across the country at the same time. Normally, the rateable value of some categories of properties go up through this process, while others go down. The Valuation Office Agency doesn't normally give any detailed rationale for the changes, which are notified to councils just in time for annual bills to be prepared. In between the national revaluations, businesses have the opportunity to appeal against the assessed valuation for their premises. Some do this directly with the Valuation Office Agency, many use the services of agents who specialise in lodging appeals on their behalf. When appeals are successful and the assessed valuation is reduced, the reduction is normally backdated to the start of the five yearly ratings list. The Valuation Office Agency typically receives a large number of appeals towards the end of each valuation cycle, particularly those submitted by agents. The reason for this is simple. The agents normally receive a percentage of any refund that is due to the business occupier. Due to the backdating arrangements, refunds are always higher at the end of the valuation cycle. Bracknell Forest Council has been particularly heavily impacted by the appeals arrangements this year. A large number of appeals were lodged on behalf of some of our largest retail outlets in the lexicon just before the new 2023 national revaluation was implemented. Through the appeals process, the Valuation Office Agency judged that their previously assessed rateable values for those premises were significantly overstated. They therefore reduced the level of rates payable by those businesses backdated to the opening of the lexicon in 2017. As a consequence, in the past two months alone, the council has had to refund several millions of pounds to those businesses. The council had no way of knowing this was going to happen. We always set aside some money in anticipation of a number of successful appeals, but we have not experienced such a large scale change before. The complex business rates funding system means that we can transfer half of this loss to the government, but the other half falls to Bracknell Forest. Looking ahead, this large reduction in rates payable by businesses in the borough will affect the council's income next year. This is because the business rate system allows councils to retain a proportion of the business rates they collect above a threshold set by the government. The threshold isn't changed even if the Valuation Office Agency reduces the overall amount we are asked to collect, like they have done this year. This is just one of the financial pressures that Bracknell Forest Council is currently facing. We are working hard to prepare our draft budget proposals for 2024-25 and will publish them for consultation in mid-December. As the leader of the council has said, it is clear there will be some tough decisions to come, many caused by issues like business rate changes that are completely outside of our control, but we need to face regardless. 
I'd encourage all residents to get involved in the consultation in December and have your say on the 24-25 budget proposals. Please look out for more information on this in the coming weeks. Thank you.